Welcome to Digital Pill. My name is Paul Williamson and I'm here to talk about a practice technique I first learned in the late 1970s from a group of uh, visiting jazz American educators. This technique involves adding a passing tone to your scale to enable that scale to go from an eight note scale including the octave tonic to a nine note scale that fits neatly into a bar of eight quarter notes in 4-4 four -four time. This technique also aligns the chord tones of the scale to the downbeats within the bar. This alignment helps voice lead through the bar. These scales are also called bebop scales. Here's an example in the key of G major. In major scales we add the sharp 5 or flat 6 and in, in the key of G major that's D sharp or E flat. I'm going to play it with jazz articulation which means we tongue the offbeat. Introducing the Jazz Zen Master. This helps to uh, enable your sense of swing and it does not lie. So if you speed up or slow down, this Jazz Zen Master will tell you and everybody will know. In this practice technique, I set the metronome on beat 50 per minute and make that beat two and four. So that's two, three, Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. To continue this exercise, we play the scale over the full range playable. This is also a great exercise to improve your range on the saxophone and your articulation through the more difficult areas of the saxophone. We also turn the scale around on chordal tones only. So now I'm going to play the scale in G, turning around on low B and turning around on high D and finishing on G. And with the aid of our Zen master, which is playing two and four, to keep us honest, two, three, four, a one, two, three. <laughs> now we can use this practice technique to improve our range. So for in the key of G, we can push to the next chordal tone which is going to be G. If you have some altissimo chops this is a great way to put them into a scale to work them. This scale can be widely used over major scales and dominant seven scales. Because of the, the effect that this scale creates with the passing tone aligning chordal tones with the beat, this creates a very inside diatonic sound. This concept should be applied to all keys if you want a good, solid saxophone workout. Today we covered major scales only, but the same technique of passing tones can be used with dominant and minor scales. If you want something to print for your music stand, there's a free downloadable PDF that covers this lesson with many examples. So, visit digitalpill.tv. I'm Paul Williamson. Thanks.